guys good morning good morning good morning welcome back to the channel welcome back to the Arnold UK prep series and today we're going to another day in the life we're four and a half weeks out from the Arnold UK and yeah man things that happened so far this prep has been um a few difficulties along the way that's for sure and yeah man but we're still keeping things going so since the last time we had the last video with you you know we had um the passing of my coach john meadows you know coach and friend and that obviously took a massive toll you know and for me it felt like you know when that happened it felt like i, I basically didn't want to carry this on anymore this that was going to be the basic the end of this prep the end of the end of it all but you know it was just it was just a devastating event that happened so but as time went on we took our time and you know just kind of spoke about it and we thought you know what what john would have really wanted was for me to finish what we actually started and carry on going so we decided to carry on with the prep and carry on working so basically i reached out to milos which is a close friend of john and you know he sort of has the same approach with john so I kind of reached out with him and asked if he could help us out. So that was, so he, he, he was glad to jump on board and carry on to see us at the show. So that was sort of an upside for that. And yeah, we've, since then we've just been working, man. We've just been trying to get this thing going and making sure that we made it, make it to the Arnold UK and make it to the show this year. So we're four, four weeks out, you know, four and a half weeks out today. And I'm going to walk you guys and take you guys through a day in the life today, you know, taking Cerberus out for a walk and then going off and doing my cardio and then breakfast, food shopping, take you through my meals, just take you to my day and then take you through training as well. So yeah, man. So this is channel. Welcome back. And let's do this, man. Go to the Arnold series. Let's go. So, just finished cardio, 50 minutes of cardio, and then what we normally do after we finish cardio in the morning, I normally do like 10 to 15 minutes of just posing before we then come down to have breakfast. And I'm just going to walk you through what our breakfast is at the moment, but it's not much, but it is what it is. But yeah, I'm going to show you what our breakfast is like. Check it out. Let's get this up. Oh. Three eggs. That's it. That's all it is. I've <laughs> got three eggs for breakfast. Uh, so no oats. No nothing. carbs, no nothing, just three whole eggs. Man. That is a little bit disappointing. Just so three long three eggs. First meal of the day, three eggs. Um, personally, I feel hungry. That's what I feel. <laughs> Especially after cardio and all that. First in the morning, you know, I have just three eggs. But you know what? One thing I can say, I mean, it's working. We're getting sharper, we're getting leaner. And we're holding on to muscle, which I didn't think you could do with such little amount of protein and food, but that's definitely been a learning, mm -hmm. learning part for us. I don't think there's ever been times when you've had no oats. Yeah. With breakfast. Yeah, never done that before. Never had no oats no. for breakfast before, so this I is mean, definitely... low quantities, so mm -hmm. but like completely eliminated. Yeah. I definitely never been in a point where it's just like no sort of But yeah, so we're gonna have breakfast and uh, we're gonna head out to go do some food shopping. As uh, always. Yeah, as always. <laughs> well, yeah, let's get this done. That's all it is. Just that. Like literally, just that. Even I have to I will cry. I mean, literally, that's a fork. 
and that's all that it is. Yeah, that makes me want to cry. <laughs> it really does make me want to cry. Ah, so. What sort of sauce is that on it? I got regular regular sauce. Are you allowed? Yes. At this stage. That's the dash, yeah. Dash? Mm -hmm. Dash. Does that look like a dash? Yeah, it's a dash. Yeah, the breakfast is already small enough. There's the only way. I don't need to taste bland too. <laughs> so, and then we have our multivitamins and joint replace, um, joint care tablets over there. I have as well the breakfast with the little breakfast that there is. You see, just to make this thing feel like it's a lot, I take my time and eat very slowly. You always take your time and slowly. <laughs> I eat it very slowly so I can savor the moment. <laughs> Because I'm starving, so you gotta savor it. Don't just rush it in and be hungry again. Savor it by taking it very slow, one bit by a time, one bite at a time. Yeah, but so, you always do that. No problem. Now I got no choice, I really have to do it. I have to be a master at it by savoring every single bite. Make it all count for something. Okay. Enjoy. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, this is so sad. Right, so heading off, and yeah, man, <laughs> it's got to that point of the prep where I do a lot less driving. I like to drive a little less at this point, mainly because you know, something they don't tell you, man, when you're that tired all the time and that low on food, every time I drive, I tend to just drift off, and you know, uh, it's very dangerous, and you can't fall asleep behind the wheel. So if I can avoid it most times, I'll just avoid driving, especially long distances. And, and yeah, I get her to drive. <laughs> Look, if I have, yes, I get, I, I get her to drive. No, I get to drive. Mel yeah, I get Mel to drive. drive. <laughs> uh, but yeah, but I just you know avoid driving if I can, you know, especially when getting this close to this point. But yeah, that's one thing we've learned through the years of prepping for shows yeah be cautious about that our local grocery store <laughs> macro professional food shopping yeah because we buy things in bulk here so it always works out for for when we do our once every two weeks shopping. So meat sauces, eggs, all those stuff, we get here. Get some fish. So, uh, started doing this song a few, well, a month or so ago. Then a full of salmon. And I de it myself, and it lasts last a while actually, it's fine. But that's a whole salmon. Nice and fresh. Get some steaks. Chicken. Oh, yep. That's the
British <laughs> beef. What's up? British and Irish beef. <laughs> Damn right. comment every single time. Oh man, your eggs ain't in the fridge. No, in the UK we don't keep our eggs in the fridge. <laughs> so, it's, it's a always choice. On, it's always on the fridge. We, we would say it's a choice. It's a choice. And you don't have to keep your eggs in the fridge in the UK. That's the fridge over there. That's the eggs over there. Oh, there's always one. Alright, moving on. We got... Poultry, that's nice services. For the boy. Yep, that's for the dog. Right. I think that's it. Think we're good? I think we're good. I think we're good. We can get out of here. So all that, I came up to what? 191 pound, 66 pence. That's where the body beat of money goes all close to <laughs> food. <laughs> every two weeks. Food, every two weeks, food, food. And that's not even all of it. But <laughs> yep, expenses is food, food and more food. <laughs> and this is prep. And that's low, and that's supposed to be low amount of food, and it's still not that long. Well, well, this is the life we chose. We do it, and we love it. Alright, let's get on, let's get on home, man. We got food cooking to do. So, our second meal of the day, and we have in, um, today anyway, 200 grams of sweet potatoes and 200 grams of steak. So you say today you've got 200 grams of sweet potato, what do you normally get? Normally we get 150 grams, but you know it's being nice to me. Mm -hmm. okay. so that's as close as it gets. I think it's a leg day today as well. Yeah, I've got a leg workout today, so that's our second meal for the day. You get that down in, you get to work it. Alright. That looks like plenty. <laughs> <laughs> plenty, man. Yeah, I'm smiling because I'm so hungry. <laughs> this, ain't, this ain't a smile of joy. This is a smile of desperation. <laughs> what movie was that? Um, this laughing in there with the tears. Oh, get me out. Yeah, this is this is that. Get this me is, out. This well, is the, you remember that guy that when yeah, he went to that plantation and then he he was smiling and the tears were pouring tears from his eyes. My eye. This is what this is. It's like. Mm. <laughs> oh dear. All right, we're going to get Joker as well. Joker is the one that is smiling. All <laughs> <laughs> no, right. So I got a sprinkle of salt, black pepper, and then good to go. All right, all right. So it's meal prep time. So we got our chicken on the grill going first. Mm How -hmm. about throw it in? Yep. And more to come. And then we move on to the steak after that. But then salmon mm -hmm. at the end. And then salmon at the end. Do you say salmon or salmon? Salmon. 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 Mm-hmm. But 
like anybody who's watched our videos before, um, what we do is we always prepare our meals in bulk coming into the week. Mm -hmm. So we'll prepare about two weeks worth of food and then freeze it and then portion each one as, as we go. And we portion it all up and then what we just do is just reheat it on the day for the ones that we do need. But yes. yeah, that's what we tend to do with food wise to kind of make it easy. So, it's a so lot of time. yeah, time, electricity, and everything else. So we're not constantly cooking and the all the time. And smell of cooking as well. I can't yeah. stand it. The smell of cooking constantly lingering in the house. So we so just kind of. already making salmon every single night, 11 p.m. <laughs> like, <laughs> this is honestly when you're about to sleep, and you know when you've got your kitchen with your living room. Like, yeah, but that's the only one we do. The rest of them <laughs> is just basically reheating. So. Yeah. Oh so, yeah. That is Okay, so that. chicken's going in first and then steak follows. <coughs> so just preparing um well deboning the salmon. De mm -hmm. Um you're taking the whole steak away, so. Yes. Well I move here. How do you do it? Because, uh, because we, have, we have salmon every night, mm -hmm. instead of buying a little bit at a time each week, we end up just buying a whole salmon. And then I cut it up into pieces as required, weigh it up, put it in, package it, and put it in the freezer. And then we just kind of take it from that point there. So that's what we've been doing the last few, what, two months now? Yeah. yeah. And it's worked great. And yes. yes. So what do you talk us for? Well, just you get a like really long, sharp. sharp knife. So you go. You, <laughs> you go just step. underneath the gills. Long, sharp knife, cut all the way to the spine. When you feel the knife hit the, hit the spine. So what, are you not cutting off this head or what are you doing now? No, you're cutting deep down straight mm -hmm. until you get to the spine. Mm -hmm. Then you turn the knife flat ways along the strength of the spine as tight as you want, can and go along the body. All the way through to the tail. And then when you end up with, actually I gotta get them. Oh. So yeah, so once you cut through down to the spine, what you end up with is one half of salmon, like so. Keep it to the side. And then you then flip it over to the other side. Fish is heavy. And then you do the same on the other side. So right underneath the fin right there. Cut straight till you get to the spine right at the top. Once you get to that spine, turn it side, get underneath it. And then Second piece, like so it looks the yeah. old. There you go. Then you have what's left. So all the spine, the bone bit, parts of the salmon, yeah. the most bones, sitting right there in the middle bit. So it seems like a lot of fish to be chucking away, but to try to try to get all these bones that comes from the spine out of it to get to the fish that's remaining it's just a bit of work so so what you would just throw it away yeah oh and throw it away sadly well, it is a waste. i know it feels like waste. you got the head and you got a lot of spines in it so it's not exactly that much usable to us so yeah okay. so i need to bag this up so now now 
just halfway up the spine there you just rub your fingers the opposite way a bit and you can see some of the bones are in once you get tweezers out only a few of them just Pluck them out. It's not that really. Huh? It's not that many, it's just a little bit of. Well, how do you find them? You feel them, you rub them the other way, okay. and you can feel them rise up. It's only just down this part here. When you feel them rise up, you pluck them out. There we go. what we have so hefty amount of salmon and then we bag it up just like we do with the rest of the chicken and everything else put it in the freezer and then get each one each day to have with our last meal every evening so yeah that's how you prepare salmon man that's how you debone a salmon so that's when that little cash is clay from louisville kentucky came up and stopped sonny liston the man who annihilated floyd patterson twice he was going to kill me but he hit harder than George. His reach is longer than George. He's a better boxer than George. And I'm better now than I was when you saw that 22-year-old undeveloped kid running from Sunday list. I'm experienced. All right, guys. So just getting ready for the gym. And um, I'll show you what we have in common here at the gym as we are right now. So training, since we, like I said before, we're training quads today. So first, I'm having my hostility pre-workout and that will kick in towards the 30 minutes drive to the gym and then into training my intro workout archery that having a scoop of that in jug water so nice and simple get a scoop in the intro in there get that mix in Yep, so that was my intro. And then what we have in post workout is hostile whey protein, whey isolate. And I got the beautiful flavor, man. So check it out. Yep, been using that last few, few weeks and I absolutely love it. It's been brilliant. Especially when you're in a diet phase and that uh, cravings start to kick in. Having something like that, man, it does help. <laughs> it helps. It does help fill in that little that gap you get in them cravings. Yeah, so we've got a cookie. So that's my uh, post-workout shake. Here we go. So that's what I'm having, bros, right now. So intra pre post so yeah we're gonna head off and get to the gym and uh get a get a workout done you know things are tied down and serious right now obviously just being four and a half weeks out every training session counts i think we only got like two more leg sessions was it three more legs or two three more leg sessions or so to like feel. oh two more after this so so definitely gotta make them quad session counts today so yeah, we're gonna do this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just worth mentioning as well that your intro workout is incorporated in your plan as well. Mm -hmm. John had it um, in your plan and then Milos now as well. Yep. Um, I think it's like 21 grams per. Seven, per seven, yeah. 21 grams of um, carbs. Per seven, so that's incorporated to yeah. my program as well right now. So it's been it's made an amazing use through training because especially now where you know calories are low, and you're trying to keep that hard training session going. Your strength and your energy level tend to drop, but this year, not at all. And 
that having that through the training session, man, is really, is really being, giving me the ability to push mm -hmm. even hard, even regardless of how low my calories get. Once we get to the gym, we start training. I don't stop until we're done. You want this as well because it's not very heavy. Because you, in the past, when you had some sort of like inter workout drinks, you always complained that they were too heavy. Yeah. You, you, you were struggling to drink them. Yep, because but this one you always said that it's, it's quite easy. It's quite an easy to drink. I mean, for me, I don't. I don't have, I mean, a lot of people are different, but I don't have much of a sweet tooth. I'm more, you know, I'm more of a savory than sweet not person. At all. I, I do not have a sweet tooth. I don't, I don't, I don't do sweet stuff. So, you know, when people post show guys have like donuts and chocolates and stuff, waiting for them to have post shows, that, nah, that doesn't work for me, man. I want proper solid meals. So I'm always more savory than sweet. So having something to drink during training, if it's too sweet, I can't drink it. I just, it, it feels too sickly for me to drink during the training. So something like this is just the right amount, you know, a scoop of that in, in a, you know, level water is just the right amount that I need and it feels great drinking it throughout the whole session. You know, it doesn't feel sickly at all. It, I, it just works for me and it works brilliantly too. So yeah, so absolutely, absolutely love that. You know, definitely couldn't highly recommend it enough. But yeah, we're gonna hit the gym and get this, get this going. Let's go. Keep you in the front, never in the back, and never on the side.
We only train in quads. So we got three major exercise quads. The first two is superset, and then we got the walking lunges out on a gravel pit. So what it is, is the idea we found that kind of works greatly for me is having extremely high weight and keeping it very extremely intense. So having something like a superset and stuff like that, it just keeps that intensity to a higher level and keep your heart pounding throughout the whole workout. And that way you burn more fat, you create that you know, one thing we kind of realize is here we create that density in the muscle when we train like that. So it might be a nice, simple and short workout, but it's really intense and very really effective. So we kind of work it that way. And basically that's as much as our quads exercise calls for. So we get four working, uh, two warm-up sets and then four working sets between them two super set. And then we'll move on to walking lunges. But yeah. That's when you need it for that. God damn. So, you know squats. Well, squats. Yeah. The reason why I'm literally, you know, using squats in the squat bar is mainly this. You know, I've always suffered in the past with um, having lower back problems when I squat, especially coming up to a show. And to eliminate that risk, I maximize that muscle growth and focusing all the tension on the quads, on the legs. We basically found that having something like this, it focused me not to worry about, you know, injury and lower back pain but focus purely on pushing all that tension just purely to the quads and i think anything around it i know people think squats are a do or die exercise but and yes it's to a point it is but there's a lot more way to push an intense workout than just squats and for us we found this method has worked absolutely amazing okay. mm. bonus set. So after the um, two warm up and four walking sets, now we do a bonus set just to make sure we kill the legs. So check it out. This one is just a bit, a little bit more intense. Hop, one, two, three, three. Hop, one, two, three, four. Four, one, two, three, five. Four, two, three, six. Four, two, three, six. Four, two, three, six. One, two, three, up! Oh, one, 
two, three, up. One, two, three, up. Push. One, two, three, up. Oh, shut up, fuck. One, two, three, up. Ah. Ah. No, push up. One, two, three, up. Oh, one more. Gotta take care of the equipment, baby. You know, it's not just about training and going home, man. You gotta show your equipment love, and they'll show you love. So, this is how we like it, man. Grimy, but it's hard, and we love it. Just the way it is. Let's go. Oh. So, we're moving on to the gravel pit. Gravel pit lunges, baby. And uh, <laughs> this one is very, um, walking lunges were very interesting. So if you look around, you see your floor, it's all loose gravel. And we're doing our walking lunges on that. You might ask, why are we doing it on that instead of a nice, clean, settled turf like here? But the reason is this, you can't cheat on that because every single step you have to take when you're working lunges it has to be thought about you can't drag your feet you can't just place your feet anywhere every step has to be actively reinforced and mindful when you take a step you watch where you're stepping you put the step down and you come down or if not you pop your ankle so this is this there's a lot of focus required so even when you're naked and you're taking your last step and you can't barely breathe and it hurts you still have to keep that focus and that intensity on so that's the whole idea <sighs> That's a wrap. Fuck. Oh. Yeah, damn it. I'm gonna be sick. Oh, fuck. Oh. 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 Oh.
You've never been sick, man? Oh, never. Never. Not today either. I ain't starting out today. My post workout shake. I'm gonna have this, and then um, an hour from now, I have my post gym meal, which is uh, rice and chicken breast <laughs> again. <laughs> I ain't gonna say anything to say. It's rice and chicken breast again, but you know, do what we have to, do what we must, man. <laughs> oh, freak it, I'm smiling because as I said, it's painful inside. Well, you know, it's fine on the outside, right? But we're gonna do this and then let's head home, right? You gotta go. So I noticed that you never took to anyone in the gym. <laughs> what well, is that? But why I never talk to anybody in the gym? No, you don't. I do talk to people in the gym. Oh, really? <laughs> just, to me. just not doing workouts. You know, at the end of the day, man, I come to the gym for one thing, you know, to remain focused. Goal comes first, you know. So, as much as it is, you know, uh, it might be rude, but not, but, you know, my goal is to come here, train as hard as I can, and go home. So, the goal is always the goal. And I've always been like that right from the first time I started going to the gym. It's, you come in, you kick ass and you go home. So I just, you know, the focus is that intense. And the higher the level you go to, the more intense that focus is. So can as I much... Say, can I tell you, sorry, when I first saw you in the gym? Yeah, go on then. I don't know about they go to here. Yeah, let me pass it on. But, but um, yeah. Actually. When I yeah. first saw Samson in the gym, that was the first time I ever saw him. I thought, <laughs> looked so angry. I thought that this guy just came out of prison and he I know. was still so angry about it. <laughs> so I just, we look, look at him that for a stereotype. You talk about the angry black man. Look, so saying I, he looks like I came out of prison. You look so angry. Yeah, but I look. never talked to anyone. And I was just. Because like, I train with aggression. Maybe, maybe this guy, maybe, I don't know, maybe he walked some like whatever, but maybe he just came out of prison or because, something. Because he just. <laughs> <laughs> because I train with aggression, you know, you let your aggression out in the gym, so other part of life you don't have to worry. So when I'm training, you know, I'm, I go aggressive towards when I'm training. So even when I'm training and I'm going at it and somebody interrupts me in the middle of a set, my first approach is hostile. It's just hostile. But my first approach, <laughs> to say, no, no puns, but my first approach is, is a hostile one. Like, what do you want? You know, before I then calm down and go, oh, okay. <laughs> but because your, your mindset is the idea of, you know, you're fighting, it's, it's hostile, you know, you're training hard, it's aggressive. You, do look hostile. you know, and that's what I mean. So when someone jumps in and interrupts you in the middle of it, my first intention, I'm still in that mood of, you know, I'm, I'm going at it. So my first intention is always like, what, what, what do you want? You know, and people are like, oh, what the hell? But that's my first approach. And then I calm down and go, okay, actually, we can come back to reality. But I train aggressively, you know, it's, it's just the way I do it. Deep focus, deep aggression. And when someone tries, when someone breaks that focus, it's no fault their own. But when they break that focus, they don't realize. When I'm training, I don't, I don't stop to chat. I don't, I don't, you know, I don't play around. No, but you know, even that, I just, I don't play around. So when you do that, is you get a hostile approach. But you know, but I try to be, I try to be nice to say, look, you know what? Let me finish and we chat. You can talk before, we can talk after. But during the workout. <laughs> but it does not happen very often. Yeah, really? I'm the, usually, I'm the one, I'm the negotiator, isn't it? Yeah, but then, look, at this level, <laughs> this is what it takes. It, it's, it's that serious. I mean, sorry, but it is that serious. So you gotta, you gotta take it seriously like that. And, you know, as long as you're not complete dick about it, but you still have to take it seriously like that, you know? <laughs> but, yeah, that's what as it is. As long as you're not complete dick about it. Yeah, as long as you're not complete dick about it. <laughs> but it's that serious, you know? <laughs> mm. Alright, so, right, so back from the gym and I'm having my next meal post-workout. And as we said, we got a cup and a half of rice and 250 grams of chicken breast. Yeah, that again. So, uh, yeah, one thing I want to mention, like, through the day with my water, basically, I put one scoop of this hostile silo nine, you know, filled with essential amino acids in it. And basically we just drink that through the day to help with hydration as we go. So I put one scoop of that with my water and I'm drinking that through the day. Well, we're gonna have my next meal. And yeah, man, I'm gonna relax and chill and enjoy the rest of my evening of recovery. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. Well.
guys so we come to our last meal of the night so what it is is like i said before it was we have a salmon um 200 grams of salmon of our last meal same as we did in the off season that meal has stayed the same thing is with this one we don't have any carbs with it it's just pure salmon so i got it here already seasoned I'm about to put it in an air fry for about 18 minutes and it's ready and cooked what we got it seasoned with we got um favorite chili flakes see that okay and a little bit of peri peri salt from Nando's, my favorite chicken place, and a bit of mixed herbs in it. So season up with that, as you can see right there, you know, we oil up the base of the or the foil. Something I picked up from one of the viewers actually said, ah, if you don't want the uh, fish to stick to the foil by the end of it, and when you finish cooking, take it off. Just put a little bit of oil, olive oil, in the foil, and then. You just wrap it up, nice and simple, get it wrapped up, stick it in deep fry for about 18 minutes and yep, that's our last meal ready to go. That's our last meal ready to go. Alright guys, so we've come to the end of our video, welcome, I hope you enjoyed another day in the life with me and as I said we're four and a half weeks out from the Arnold UK and obviously things are kind of hard right now and obviously we're getting our head down we're buckling down training is going good i'm feeling great i'm having great support so we're kind of getting ready for the show and yeah man i'm loving the progress and where we are so yeah keep watching we're sure to bring you one more day in the life before the arnold classic shows up but until then i want to say we'll catch you later and take it easy good night